we're talking about our children. How much do you want to risk with your life or wrong? It's the big question for parents in the Salt Lake Valley right now. Will the mask mandate for younger students stay in place? The county council is scheduled to vote tomorrow, possibly to overturn the requirement. Yeah, COVID impact specialist Lad Egan live for us at the county government complex tonight with more on this debate. Lad? The county council has the authority under state law to either keep this mask requirement for elementary students in place or rescind it, and they've scheduled the vote for tomorrow. Salt Lake County Council. The phones are yeah. ringing nonstop yeah. at the County yeah. Council yeah. office. I've got you down. Thank you very much. With those for and against the mask requirement calling hey, to make their voices first. heard. Thank I'm going to vote to overturn the constraint order. Council Chair Steve DeBry, a Republican, called the special meeting Thursday for the council to vote to overturn Dr. Angela Dunn's order that students from kindergarten through sixth grade wear masks while indoors. I don't think there's enough efficacy and those little kids wearing the masks to even move the needle very much as far as the protection it's going to give them. The way we're going to get out of this is for adults to get vaccinated. I see no downside other than maybe an inconvenience with children having to wear a mask for 30 days at school to not at least attempt to see if that uh, if that approach works. Democrat Council Member Jim Bradley said he will vote to keep the mask requirement in place. You cannot just ignore science. You cannot ignore the data. And when all things are said and done, we're talking about our children. How much do you want to risk with your right or wrong on whatever your thought is on, on masks? It will take a simple majority to terminate the mask order, and Republicans have the majority, six to three on the council. The members on both sides of the aisle say this is one of the most contentious issues they've ever faced. Parents need to decide if someone's vulnerable and they want to mask their child, absolutely mask their child. And everyone be respectful of those in a mask or those not in a mask. Well, not ideal for kids. Nobody's arguing that. It is a preventable measure and it works. The vote will play, take place tomorrow, 2 p.m. It will be a public meeting, so anyone can attend, but there won't be any sort of a public comment period. Earlier in the day, Chairman DeBry told KSL that he believes that the council will overturn the mask mandate. But, Mike, when I spoke with him late this afternoon, he said that he wasn't sure how the vote would turn out and that he hasn't conducted any sort of a straw poll of council members. Yeah, it's a divisive issue. We'll see uh, how things turn out tomorrow. A lot of eyeballs are going to be on that meeting. Lad, thank you.